Hi there, I hope you are all having a wonderful time. Here I will explain and demonstrate how to conduct a virtual experiment without a procedure. Only a problem is provided. This approach is called guided inquiry. Many educators believe that the knowledge discovered retains longer and is understood deeper. In fact, several research show that students who discover their knowledge by experimentation have outperformed their counterparts who learn by lecture. Yes, it is more difficult and tiresome and challenging, but they also became more confident in learning science. For more interesting discussion, let us watch this video. First of all, we are born scientists. When we're born, we wonder what's out there. We begin to wonder about the sun, life, the stars, uh, what makes the oceans, the weather. We're born scientists. And then something happens. When we hit the danger years, the danger years of junior high school and high school, that's when it's literally crushed out of us. Those are the worst. Every little flower of curiosity, said Einstein, is crushed by society itself. Because we have to learn all these facts, figures, memorization, we think that memorization is science. And that's not true at all. Guided inquiry approach attempts to preserve that curiosity. In conducting an experiment, we always have two variables to watch out for, the independent and the dependent variable. We can say that the independent variable is us, while the dependent variable is the effect. We manipulate or change the values of the independent variable, then measure its effect on the dependent variable. To make sure that the effect is not a product of accident, we conduct several duplications or trials. However, we must be strict in controlling all other factors to make sure that they did not interfere or contribute with the result. For example, we want to know the relationship between current and voltage. So, we vary the value of voltage, then measure current for its variation. But, we must ascertain that all other factors such as resistance, temperature, etc. are kept constant. Another example, which I will answer later in this video, how is the volume of a gas related to its temperature? To answer, we vary the temperature, then measure volume while keeping pressure and the amount of gas constant. Our lab report template is very simple. In a nutshell, you just have to state what you did and what did you learn. First is the challenge prompt. This is what you aim to answer. You may also call this the objective or problem. Procedure is the list of things you did to gather data, which you place in a table. Discuss the result, then conclusion. The simulation is free to access and download at PET website pet.colorado.edu if you are using a laptop or desktop. Make sure to download the HTML version because other versions need software to open. You may also download the Android app at Google Play Store if you are using a cell phone. This is our simulation for gas loss to answer our challenge question. Before collecting data, make sure to explore it first. I will play it first. You can observe the pressure is changing. You can also add heat and observe that the temperature is increasing. Hold constant. You may also hold the volume constant while increasing the temperature. You may choose to hold temperature constant so you can change the volume. Or you may choose to maintain pressure constant while changing volume. 
this or you may choose to maintain pressure constant while changing the temperature here yeah. we can always reset we are looking for the relationship between temperature and volume so we hold pressure constant we now add gas molecules there I will hold the pressure constant not this because in this case the temperature will vary but not the volume I will also have to take width to measure the width of the cube to calculate the volume you just have to multiply this by itself three times I will first prepare the table where I will put my data first I will present the independent variable temperature then all other measured constants here we are measuring pressure and of course the amount of substance is the same unless you add you will pump in another molecule so amount of substance is constant but we don't know that what we know is the pressure is constant at 19.6 atm or atmosphere atmosphere this is pressure it is important to present it as well to show that we really control them during our experiment then the width because we are interested with volume I will add column for volume which is our dependent variable we may also add another column for trial number here I will make five trials or five duplications going back to our simulation I am now ready to experiment okay the pressure is constant volume is changing now I can control the temperature by adding it or removing it. Oh, we can also change our temperature unit. So here, I will add heat so our temperature increases. I will remove heat so our temperature decreases. Now it's time to experiment. left is to calculate the volume by raising it to 3. 